Well, welcome to Oldies and Oddities, where Oldies represents a classic side of travel and Oddities represents a unique side of travel. Today we're going to be going to the St. Louis Zoo and we're also going to be going to a uh, like art sculpture park, so join me for the adventure. So we've made it to St. Louis Zoo, and one of the things I wanted to show you is that there's plenty of free parking. Uh, they've got a parking lot, but then there's also the side streets that have parking. So don't worry about having to pay for parking. You do have to worry about getting run over. Go ahead and go. I always let the cars go first because I don't trust the cars. It is chilly out this morning but it is supposed to get up to 60 degrees. So St. Louis Zoo is one of my favorite zoos. I will actually say it is the favorite zoo. Um, I've went to a lot of zoos in my lifetime and this one is just top notch, I think. Um, don't quote me on anything because rules may have changed, but as long as I've ever been coming here, and I'm talking about when I was a little baby, the St. Louis Zoo is free for everyone, free. On top of that, you are welcome to bring in food and drinks. So if you're a family that's a little bit lower on the budget and want to go out and have some fun with your kids and that, I mean, you could come here and spend all day and not spend a dime. On top of that, it's actually one of the best zoos. I love the layout. I love the, the way they have the, the animals. Um, their structures and everything are just top notch. Um, it's always been super clean. My family and I, we usually come here every year, every other year, because it's just a great place to walk around as a family and chat and catch up and everything. Uh, unfortunately, today I am by myself. Um, just the way the family plans worked out, they had some stuff they needed to do. I mean, they're not on vacation. And uh, so we're going to meet up later today. So today it's me, you, and the zoo. Let's go. So when you first come into St. Louis Zoo, you're enter, uh, greeted by this huge lobby which has been the same since I was a kid. I don't know if they ever like repaint this shark or not, but it has looked the same forever. Then you got gift shops and uh, restaurants here. I mean, this is like basically your main building. Let's show you what's downstairs. I think it's a lot of classrooms and education rooms and such, but we'll still come down here and check it out real quick. So yeah, you got uh, down here, you got education office, lecture rooms, theaters, classrooms. Uh, looks like there's a zoo office. Um, you also have restrooms upstairs and downstairs in this building, so that's kind of nice. Now, as we go through the St. Louis Zoo, I'm not gonna show you every lion and tiger and monkey. Uh, one, if I did that, there would be no reason for you to come here. And two, I think we've all been to a zoo at least once and we know what the general animals are. So I'm going to try to show you the more unique side of what they have here at the zoo. So like a lot of parks this time of year, they've got it, you know, decorated for Christmas. And now there's Christmas lights everywhere. They got like a little L thing going on here. What is this? They got dinosaurs going on too. Wow, man, St. Louis has just got a whole lot of dinosaur stuff going on lately. Encounter the tremendous toothy terror. Ah. Oh, man, it's closed for the season. What do you mean it's closed for the season? That's a bummer. I can't see over there. I tell you what, I'm going to give you guys a boost on my shoulders and you tell me what you see. Is there anything good over there? Do you see any dinosaurs? Oh, I'm sorry, I, I dropped you off of my shoulders. I apologize. Are you okay? Just dust it off. Rub some dirt on it, you'll be okay. Look at these dinosaur sized flowers, man. So they do have like a little train here that you can take. You know, you wanna look both ways before crossing the tracks, man. Look at that thing go, man. 
as Ulysses S. Grant. It was awesome. And then all the happy passengers. Those people that drive them trains are all reckless and stuff. <laughs> so they got an entire building here. It's all dedicated to bugs. I like bugs. All right, let's show you part of this bug museum because a lot of zoos don't have bugs. So they got bugs in all the different little containers here. And I won't show you a bunch of them except for this tarantula. Now what gets kind of cool about this place is instead of just having nothing but boxes, they've got some structures that give you, you know, a little more environmental what it would look like where they live and you can look inside there. That's always fun for kids, you know, to peek in the holes. And then this has always been one of my favorites. It's like the kitchen. You can open the fridge and see any bugs in here, man. Is there any bugs? You guys see any bugs? Uh-oh, cockroaches. I hate cockroaches. Oh, okay, nothing in the freezer. You got anything up in the cabinet? Did you know huge swarms of locusts can eat up to 80,000 tons of grain uh, and, and other vegetation? in a day. Bum, bum, bum. Look at that. Where's the, where's the bugs? Oh, they're in this box of oats. They're hard to see. Oh, look, they got ants on the counter. Somebody left out the peanut butter. But yeah, this is a really cool bug museum. What the hell are you looking at, kid? Go walk your dog. And I mean, it goes on. There's cages all over. And look at this. We even got some like UV fish. Look at the UV fish. That's not a bug. They actually let you view the lab where everything's kind of going on. We get to stare at this guy in the window and he has to pretend like we're not here. Do you guys ever do anything goofy when there's the guys in the windows? Like, do you ever make faces at them or anything? I've never made any faces, but I have stared at them quite a bit. It's always fun. And it looks like you got a butterfly garden. Is this open right now? Yeah. Oh, okay. While you're in here, just keep your mask on. Yep. Press the butterflies. And when okay. you're not checked in here, just make sure any butterflies start to you. Oh, okay. That sounds good. Whoa, it's super warm in here. Look at all these butterflies. Can you guys see the butterflies? Let's see if we can get up close to one. How close will the butterfly let us get? We can get pretty close to that butterfly. He's a friendly butterfly. Look at this one. Ooh, I like the blue on this one. Can I show it to you? We gotta chase that butterfly down. Where are you going, butterfly? Oh man. He's trying to fly out the window. Like sitting here waiting for one of these guys to land. Come on, land, damn it. There's these really big white ones. Can you see those? I don't know if the GoPro camera can catch that. Oh, whoa. Dude, that guy buzzed the tower. Oh, there he landed. You guys got me in here chasing butterflies for you. Make me feel like a crazy person. Look at these pretty flowers. Aren't those gorgeous? Now, apparently on our way out, they got an air vent here blowing on you. And then you have to look in the mirror and make sure there's no butterflies on your butt. Is my butt clear? I'm butterfly free. All right. Thank you, love. Have a good one. There were so many butterflies in there. I didn't want to chase them all for you. I just wanted to show you real quick. You know what I mean? We could have been in there all day chasing butterflies. Oh, now we got to go back out into the cold. Ooh. 
Yeah, I've always loved their bug exhibit. They, they have so many. Um, you know, I just don't want to spend all day showing you guys bugs, you know. But they have so many bugs. Oh, man, which way am I supposed to go with this? There's multiple paths and I'm lost. I'm lost in the zoo. I'm too busy talking to the camera and not paying attention. I just came into a little bee area. It's the bee show state. Or the, the show bee state. Instead of the show me state, the show bee state. Yeah. So, it just goes around in a circle. So that right there is just a circle. Don't go that way. This is another one of those that like coming in the off season can be fun. It's just not as busy and uh, you don't have so many people in your way. I do not have a map and I'm wondering if maybe I should have had a map. I'm just roaming around in a zoo, probably walking towards the exit or something. All right, like anything else, I'm learning as I go. And apparently, you don't have to wear your mask in the zoo the entire time, just in the structures. Whoa, they got sea lions in here. Can you guys see them? How pretty. Is there one there? The sea lion? Yeah, it was a sea lion. So the sign says sea lion, but she told her kid it was a seal. That mom lied to her child. <laughs> It's gonna grow up devastated, never knowing the difference between a sea lion and a seal. So where it is free to come in the zoo, walk around, and like I said, you can even bring in food and drinks. All the different shows that they have, you do have to pay for. So if you wanna indulge, you can spend two, three bucks per person or whatever to see this show or that show. Whatever the cost is. Like I said, don't quote me. You can find everything on their website, just Google it. Google! Oh, Google! Are you crapping me? I just went in a circle again. I went down this boardwalk to go see the sea lion, and then I just went right back out the way I was. We need to refer to the handy dandy maps they have for us, right? Don and Marilyn Lipton Fragili Forest. Oh, must be Italian. So this is where like the monkeys are, I guess. I don't see any monkeys. There's nobody monkeying around. Oh, there's the monkeys. There they are. They have evolved and they have opposable thumbs now. Look how cute I am in Christmas time photo landscape. It is really cute though for a family photo or whatever. I really like this. It's red and blue lights next to each other. It gives kind of a purple look. It's the simple things in life, right? Those little things that just make you go, aww. I'm looking for the damn penguins. If you remember from our Tennessee video, my family likes the penguins. It just became a thing, I guess. I don't know. We took a picture in front of these rocks with penguins and now every time we're here, we take that picture. This is a polar bear exhibit, but there's no polar bear. Dude, there's the polar bear. We've been looking for you too, man. I found the penguins. Let's go check it out. There's a lot of people over here congregating. We're just gonna have to push our way through these people. They're all just standing around or playing on their phones. Come on, Pingo. We got penguins to see. Look how I got all these people motivated. They were just standing around conjugating and I told them to move their butts. You may have just heard some people going, ooh, or yuck, in the background. And it's because the second those doors open to come in, it instantly smells like fish, like squid, actually. So one thing that's kind of cool about this penguin exhibit is they are so close to you. If you didn't have the boss man watching you, you could just reach up and touch him. I mean, you can see he's just right over my head. I could touch him if I wanted. 
But like I said, there is a boss man watching you to make sure you don't touch the penguins. Look how close that guy is. Oh my gosh, somebody broke his neck. Well, you know what? Quick, that guy's not looking. I pet the penguin. Come on, let's go before he yells at me. Look, look how close this guy is. I mean, I could, if I wanted, I could have reached out and pet him right now. You're not supposed to, of course, but it is that close. They're just right there. I've seen a lot of these placards. I don't know exactly how St. Louis Zoo works, but a lot of this stuff is all donations and such. So that's what allows it to stay free so that you can have kids enjoy these animals and, and educations and, you know. Here's another placard with just a ton of names of folks that have donated to help. I wonder if they know exactly where their money goes. They're like, your money paid the guy who has to scoop the poop. Thanks for your donation. <laughs> oh, that caught my glasses. That was not what was meant to happen. It was meant to just graze the top of my head. I screwed up. After having about six people walk into me. I'm going to point out a little something that I think I've learned over the years. People walk exactly how they drive. Those people that are always texting when they're driving, always texting when they're walking too, walking right into me. You got a pathway that's a right and a left, and we're in America. Walk on the right side. It drives me crazy when they walk into me, and I'm on the right side. See what I was saying about, I mean, these things, they're everywhere. One there, one there. You got all these. The benches are memorialized. I mean, the plaques are everywhere. And of course, they're not an eyesore or anything by, by any means. It's actually, for me at least, it's kind of cool to see how many people have donated and helped with the zoo. I see a photo opportunity that I have to be opportunistic about. Oh, look, they got some Christmas stuff out. They got elves. Oh, my God. Yeah, and a big reindeer. Do they got elves and reindeers? According to that lady. Her kid was fascinated by it. They got a huge St. Louis arch. So just like the bug building, St. Louis Zoo has several other buildings. There's a bird building, there's a reptile one, and so on and so forth. I figured I'd at least show you the bird building so you see more than one building. Uh, we'll just skip the reptile one because a lot of people don't like reptiles. So I love reptiles. But let's walk around the bird building and kind of show you what it looks like. So a funny little interesting side note, <laughs> the restroom's here. I went into the stall and, you know, shut the door, turned around, went to use the facility. <laughs> they have kids toilets here. <laughs> I look, I said, that's too small for me. I can't get down that low. <laughs> yeah, so like the very first stall is a little kid's toilet. I didn't look, I just walked in, turned around and locked the door. <laughs> that was funny well i hope i showed you enough of the zoo to make you interested to come out and appreciate it but not too much where we've already seen everything and i showed you every animal you know 
But that's it for the zoo. We are gonna head over to Pappy's Barbecue. I've heard about it for years and never eaten it. It's kind of like a staple from what I heard. So we're gonna go get some barbecue. <clears throat> And then after that, we're going to a sculpture park, and I am going to butcher the name, but it's like Lumiere, Lumiere? Okay, Google. Lumiere Sculpture Park, Missouri. Laumeyer Sculpture Park. Okay, so it's actually pronounced Laumeyer Sculpture Park. Well, you know me. I'm always screwing up the pronunciations of everything. I'll put the name so I don't look like an idiot later. You know what I mean? Let's go get some barbecue. All right, so we made it out to Pappy's Smokehouse for some barbecue. And I will say, if you have a decent sized truck, you're probably gonna have trouble in their parking lot. But just up the street, there's street parking right here. I had to pay like three bucks for like an hour and a half, which I know is way more time than I need. But I don't know how busy they're gonna be inside, and plus I don't wanna rush while I'm eating, so I know I have plenty of time. The other smokers. That's awesome. Very cool looking place. The way they've got it set up there is when you walk in the main door, you actually place your order and everything, and then you just pick yourself a seat. They got drinks over here. Very cool looking place. And look, before I even sat down, they already had me covered. Oh, does that look good or what? We got smoked brisket, french fries, baked beans, whole bunch of sauces over here to go with it you know how it is it's disgusting to watch me eat, so i'm gonna eat and i'll tell you what it's like afterwards all right so pappy's smokehouse was really good um their baked beans wow those are probably like the best baked beans i've ever had those things were amazing um the brisket was just an average brisket i wouldn't say it was like some like oh my gosh you gotta get the best brisket in the world i wouldn't go that far it was just good brisket. Um, I would say the only bummer was it was, it wasn't hot, it wasn't cold. It was just kind of room temperature, you know? Like it'd been sitting for a little bit, you know? And uh, I myself, I like my food hot. All in all, I'd say good restaurant, good experience. Um, what I got was 20 bucks and I could not fill it. I was about halfway through and I said, oh, <laughs> oh. I took care of about 75% of that plate. They honked at me because I'm sexy. That was where I had to call the ball maverick. I said, no, I can't eat no more. I'm going to explode. So, ugh. let's get back on the road and go to this sculpture park, Lumiere. I don't know. I'll put the, I don't know how it's pronounced. Laumeyer Sculpture but, Park. Whew, my belly full. I might sit here for a minute before I get on the road. <laughs> This Lumiere Sculpture Park is off of Rot Road. <laughs> First thing that happens in my head, I'm thinking Scooby-Doo. Rot Road? Whoa, let's go there. <laughs> Rot Road? <laughs> you see what happens when I'm alone? I'm by myself? I need people to travel with me and interact. I'm gonna lose my mind. I know, you can't lose what you don't have. I didn't do much research online or anything for this, so if you want to know anything, just Google it. But from what I was seeing online with the pictures and that, it's just a lot of odd sculptures and creations and stuff. Nice little place to walk off a meal, you know what I mean? So I guess we'll just follow the path and see what we come across.
it's a nice little park to just kind of walk around or whatever if you like walking trails and just getting out and you got some sculpture to look at along the way you know i think it's also be a great place if you're like on a first date or something because you can walk around look at the stuff and just get to know each other you know what i mean well that's going to be it for our adventures in missouri it has been a blast but the rest of my day today is just going over spending time with family maybe doing some board games and stuff and then sunday i'm going to take my grandma to church after that i'm just packing up and heading back home so this was our last adventure here in missouri but i really hope everybody enjoyed the videos uh, please like subscribe share with your friends tell your mama about us if you like odd people and old people and just goofy stuff and you also like travel where your channel um, leave comments below let me know what you think um, suggestions or whatever and uh, we'll see you in the next episode where we head to south carolina for christmas that's going to be a blast in itself too and unfortunately you're going to be stuck with me again there's no family on that trip uh, the kids are spending christmas with mom so it's just me in south carolina for christmas and new year's so that'll be interesting a state i've never been to and two holidays in that state so we'll see you on the road did you miss me so much? Yeah. Did you miss me? Because I missed you. Yeah. Yo, we got to get Gilligan on the camera more, right? Say hello, everybody. I'm Gilligan, and I'm, I'm cute, and I'm playful, and I love my owner. Yeah. Oh, and I missed him so much. <laughs> You're such a goof. Oh, no. Don't give me some kisses. I'm going to give you some kisses, too.